Magnetostatics is the study of magnetic fields in systems where the currents are steady not changing with time. It is the magnetic analog of electrostatics, where the charges are stationary. The magnetization need not be static, the equations of magnetostatics can be used to predict fast magnetic switching events that occur on time scales of nanoseconds or less. Magnetostatics is even a good approximation when the currents are not static—as long as the currents do not alternate rapidly. Magnetostatics is widely used in applications of micromagnetics such as models of magnetic recording devices. Magnetostatic focusing can be achieved either by a permanent magnet or by passing current through a coil of wire whose axis coincides with the beam axis. Applications <laughs> 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 Magnetostatics is a special case of Maxwell's equations Starting from Maxwell's equations and assuming that charges are either fixed or move as a steady current J The equations separate into two equations for the electric field and two for the magnetic field. The fields are independent of time and each other. The magnetostatic equations, in both differential and integral forms, are shown in the table below. Where with the dot denotes divergence, and B is the magnetic flux density, the first integral is over a surface S with oriented surface element D S where with the cross denotes curl, J is the current density and H is the magnetic field intensity. The second integral is a line integral around a closed loop. C display style script style C with line element L display style script style math BF L. The current going through the loop is I ENC display style script style I underscore text ENC. The quality of this approximation may be guessed by comparing the above equations with the full version of Maxwell's equations and considering the importance of the terms that have been removed. Of particular significance is the comparison of the J term against the D T term if the J display style script style math bfj term is substantially larger then the smaller term may be ignored without significant loss of accuracy topic reintroducing faraday's law a common technique is to solve a series of magnetostatic problems at incremental time steps and then use these solutions to approximate the term B T display style script style partial math BF B partial T plugging this result into Faraday's law finds a value for e display style script style math BF e which had previously been ignored this method is not a true solution of Maxwell's equations but can provide a good approximation for slowly changing fields Solving for the magnetic field Current sources If all currents in a system are known i.e., if a complete description of the current density J R is available then the magnetic field can be determined at a position r from the currents by the biot-savart equation b r equals mu 0 4 pi j r times r minus r r minus r 3 d 3 r 
Display style math bf b math bf r equals frac mu underscore zero four pi int frac math bf j math bf r times left math bf r math bf r right math bf r math bf r carrot three mathrm d carrot three math bf r. This technique works well for problems where the medium is a vacuum or air or some similar material with a relative permeability of one. This includes air core inductors and air core transformers. One advantage of this technique is that, if a coil has a complex geometry, it can be divided into sections and the integral evaluated for each section. Since this equation is primarily used to solve linear problems, the contributions can be added. For a very difficult geometry, numerical integration may be used. For problems where the dominant magnetic material is a highly permeable magnetic core with relatively small air gaps, a magnetic circuit approach is useful. When the air gaps are large in comparison to the magnetic circuit length, fringing becomes significant and usually requires a finite element calculation. The finite element calculation uses a modified form of the magnetostatic equations above in order to calculate magnetic potential. The value of b Display style script style math bf b can be found from the magnetic potential. The magnetic field can be derived from the vector potential. Since the divergence of the magnetic flux density is always zero, b equals times a display style math bf b equals nabla times math bf a, and the relation of the vector potential to current is a. R equals mu zero four pi j r r minus r d three r Display style math bf of math bf r equals frac mu underscore zero four pi int frac math bf j math bf r math bf r math bf r mathrm d caret three math bf r. Topic magnetization. Strongly magnetic materials i.e., ferromagnetic, ferromagnetic or paramagnetic have a magnetization that is primarily due to electron spin. In such materials the magnetization must be explicitly included using the relation B equals mu 0 m plus h Display style math bf b equals mu underscore zero math bf m plus math bf h. Except in metals, electric currents can be ignored. Then Ampere's law is simply times h equals zero. Display style nabla times math bf h equals zero. This has the general solution h equals minus Phi m display style math bf h equals nabla phi underscore m, where phi m display style phi underscore m is a scalar potential. Substituting this in Gauss's law gives two phi m equals m. Display style nabla caret two phi underscore m equals nabla c d o t math b f m. Thus, the divergence of the magnetization m display style script style nabla c d o t math b f m has a role analogous to the electric charge in electrostatics and is often referred to as an effective charge density rho m display style rho underscore m. The vector potential method can also be employed with an effective current density. J m equals times m display style math bf j underscore m equals nabla times math bf m. Topic. See also. Darwin Lagrangian. 
equals equals notes <laughs>